Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Howdy, kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican, and today we're going to be using Flamigo in ranked battle stadium singles. That's right, guys. We're using Scrappy Doo. Love Flamigo. Can hit ghost types with his fighting type moves. Nothing can stop him. How y'all doing? Howdy, kids. Let's look at the team we are going to be bringing today. We have some fun. I, I, I talked like that was a draft league intro. Guys, we're using Ambipom. We're using Flamigo. And I know you see her on there. That's not a Flutter main. It's not Reg G yet, folks. We're still in a Reg H. And this is Mischievous, otherwise known as Reg H Flutter main. Uh, basically, I kind of just found this Mischievous set while I was doing Randbats earlier today. And I was like, you know what? Can this stop some physical attack attackers in 3v3s? Let's try it and see if we can get it done. Uh, we have Assault Vest Metagross on the team uh, for Assault Vest Assault vest Metagross things. Got Psychic Fangs to get rid of screens. Iron Head for a strong stab. Earthquake to hit the pesky steel types. And then Bullet Punch for priority. I really contemplated between this or Scizor. And then I also contemplated between do I want Knock Off or Earthquake on the Metagross. And I figured Earthquake made more sense to hit things like Goldengo and Archaladon versus just hitting Goldengo with Knock Off. We can actually hit both now. We have Glamora on the team here simply for a bait and switch. Basically, I want people to lead off with things like Arch or Blood Moon so that Choice Banded Flamigo can knock things out. And then we have Hydreigon to potentially knock out Stall and not care about the Gliscors, the Dondozos, the Skelly Dirges of the world. With that being said, guys, this is the team we are going to be taking to try and find some ranked battles here in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like the video, and I hope you all enjoy the battles. Come on, man. Where's the fun these days? How y'all doing, Hatta Kids? Here we are with the first one. Of course, we got to run into Sneasler. You know who goes crazy here? You know him. You love him. Flutter Sane. It, she actually does kind of look nice against uh, um, really just Sneasler, which is pretty funny if it, if it, if it happens. Uh, more and more, I feel like I should be running Scarf Flamigo instead of Ban. Ban gets the guarantee Carol on Blood Moon, but Scarf would be good for the faster guys, i.e. Meowskarata. Because I was looking at, when I made this team, I was like, man, we kind of get fucked by Meowskarata, don't we? Um, I guess I could use Mischievous early, potentially. I could use Mischievous early, potentially. I could also lead off with Metagross. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, Knockoff actually is just looking so much better. These, Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring these two. And then I want to bring Flamigo. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it. Just cause. I, like, I think, I think... Ms. Drevis can live a banded knockoff from the cat and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, land a Will-O-Wisp. The answer is yes. We don't guarantee live the knockoff, but we, okay. This is actually really, oh, I let off a Metagross. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Forget everything I said. They downloaded Spatak. You're beautiful. All right, well, I am wishing I had, what's it called? So I will just try to Iron Head flinch as they definitely are going to Thunder Wave me. Don't go out into Arch. I would have, I should have Earthquaked. Oh my god, you're such a fucking loser. Okay. There it is. Yep, there's the Arch. You're so brave. Alright, who do we think they have in the back? God, I, uh, you just want 20 moves on the Metagross, man. Like, you really do. I'm going to Mistrevious and I'm clicking Will O Wisp. I've had it. Let's do it. Let's let's burn something. I want to burn something. And I also don't want to hit this anymore with a physical attack, so I gotta burn it. They go for stealth rocks. Oh my god, I'm so scared of your rocks, dude. Wow. You're such a brave soldier. Clicking rocks with your Archaladon. That's so Reg F, bro. You're 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 a little bit late, buddy. Was it Reg F or was it H? A B C D I H I J K. Wait. A B C D E F G. Wait, this is H. Wait, what am I saying? I'm tweaking. Um, I don't remember what. I think Arch was introducing Reg F, but I could be. I could be wrong. We're faster. Shout out to our 12 speed investment. I think 12. 12 speed, right? Something like that. Missed your Thunder Wave, you loser. They roar. Oh, okay, so we're not necessarily faster. We might. We might be, but we also might not be because that was a negative priority move. Give me Flamigo. That is a meta gross. Hey, look at him. He's all scrunched up now. Aren't you adorable? Alright, they're just going to keep spamming Roar like a loser. So I guess we'll just click Earthquake this time around. This is literally my Archaladon. Uh, if it has T-Wave and Dragon Tail. <laughs> but it probably doesn't. I think they've evolved to have Iron Head instead because it's kind of needed. 
for certain things. Um, but I do go first, so that means they did click Roar. So hopefully we just get in Flamigo. And I can just click Bandit CC. I know they have two defense raises, but I still think a Bandit CC will do enough. And even if they get in a uh, Miss, Miss Mag, then we can click Hex. Burn boosted Hex. So I'm cool with that too. Show us that's that's Miss Mag. Or Miss Drevis, my bad. I know because of the Pokeball. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna click Hex, I guess. Not much else to do here. They're just gonna keep, you know, getting some some good mileage, unfortunately, out of my guy. Um, but yeah, we just click hex, our strongest move. Boom. As they spam roar, almost killed it, by the way. Can we get Flamigo in, please? I'm begging. Like we've been we've been going between Metagross and Misdreev. Let me get Flamig. You know what I mean? Let's let's go. That's gotta be Flamig, please. That is not him. <laughs> it's not him. Okay. Well, an earthquake should kill. So, I guess it's fine. But, come on. What are the odds? We get Ward, like, what? That was the third time? And not, not a single Flamigo sighting? Unfortunate. But what's good is... Uh, we have the element of surprise still. Because that means the, the Porygon 2 is just a sitting duck. No pun intended. Oh, now you go for body press. You're so brave. That did zero. You just must be Max Fido. You must be no fizz death investment whatsoever. Crazy. Alright, so. Now, they know we don't have knockoff. Because we definitely should have clicked it there if we had it on the on the P2 switching in to the Arch Aladon. So they can probably just go back out onto it pretty confidently. The Chipper. Okay, so this is their third. Oh, this is great. Wait a minute. I... Don't Terra? I'm going to Earthquake. I might live a Shadow Ball if they're not Specs. I have a lot of Spadef and HP. Okay, I lied. All right, so this is when we just go. We just we just go into Flamigo because if they switch, they die. And I don't want to go Misdreavus yet. So yeah, we definitely go into Flamigo and we click. We click Banded CC. If this is Scarf, Shadow Ball doesn't kill us. And if they go out into um, P2, they get two KO'd, and then I go back into Miss Mag and sack it. I keep calling Misdreavus Miss Mag just because it's like. Rolls off the tongue more. But yeah, P2 is about to get 2 it KO'd. Let's see how much this does. Just banded. Banded to P2. Raw. Downloads Patak. That's that's going to be useless, buddy. Okay, thank God that just O-code, man. I would have been so sad if that, like, did half or something crazy. Like, I, obviously, like, Porygon 2 is really tanky. That's why I was like, is it really just going to not? I was actually curious if there's any rolls. Oh, wow. That's not Fizz Death at all. Fizz Death actually would have lived. Like, guaranteed. That's insane. Okay, so this is definitely Scarf. So I am switching into Mischievous. Oh, the battle was canceled. Let's go, Flamigo! Okay, so it wasn't Scarfed. They just died. Let's go, Flamigo! Hey, Flamigo. Wow, they actually just used three Flamigo weak mons, I just realized. That's crazy. Man, the more I think about it, the more scrappy do. Would have been such a better nickname for Flamigo. Anyways, um, speaking of Flamigs, it looks really good here against our Chaludon. I could totally see them just leading off with the uh, Psychic Boy or Girl. Yeah, Boy. Uh, so Metagross makes a lot of sense. If they want to lead off with Arch, I guess I can do the same thing. And just Earthquake it. <clears throat> see, I think Metagross is all in all just the best lead. Outside of like Bandit EQ from D-Knight. Um, and then we're definitely bringing Flamigo for obvious reasons. And then I kind of want to bring something to either stop the... No, I think we bring Hydreigon. I think it just makes sense. Because I was... Bro, OBS keeps doing this thing. I don't know what happened. Like, I didn't update it. Nothing changed. It just keeps, like... It keeps the surrounding area outside of the screen just keeps going a solid color. And it's freaking me out. I don't know if the recording is getting corrupted it doesn't show that it is. Like, it doesn't say frames are dropping. I just keep glancing to my left, and it looks absolutely insane over here. And then, like, it just eventually goes away. I just click on it and do this. Yeah, and it's gone. So, okay, I guess a minute, a minute, 20, a little bit before a minute, 20 into this. I'll check back in editing and see if it actually messed it up or not. But, man, what, but, man, why did I say, man? But, man, what the hell? Anyways, they do lead off with the mana gross. So, they could very easily just go, like... Raw, raw armor rouge. Once again, where I wish I had knockoff. I'm just gonna click Iron Head. If they go into armor rouge, I'm pretty confident I can live a hit 
and then I click Earthquake. So, um, yeah, I'll just, just gonna, yeah, if they want to go Raw Armor Rouge, that's fine. It want, again, if they also go Arch Aladon, I guess it's whatever. Like, I'll just Earthquake after. They go into this, yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna assume I live. Let's see what they are real quick. I'm assuming they're weak armor. They almost always are. A part of me really wanted to Earthquake. I really did, but I, I didn't. Okay. Um... Meta Gross versus Arma Rouge. Arma... I always have a... Yeah, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I always have, like, a hard time... Uh, spelling Arma Rouge. Okay, so Armor Cannon should not kill me unless they're Specs. And Earthquake doesn't kill them, which is kind of crazy. Uh, oh no, they have a defense drop. Earthquake 100% kills them. Um, so do we think they're... If they're Specs, I just go into Hydreigon and Nasty Plot. And then I win the game. So yeah, okay. So that's fine. Let's just let's just find out what they are. Armor cannon. They shouldn't kill me, unless they're specs. They're not specs. Perfect. And that is a dead armor rouge. Now they did weaken me, for the I was gonna call it Jigglypuff, the freaking guy that was in before this, the the terrain setter. But as long as they're not scarf, we should be fine. And actually, even if they are Scarf, we are, we're fine as well. Because they probably come back in and click Expanding Force now. And then I just uh, bring in Hydreigon after. Oh, they're going to this guy. Oh, this was smart. Okay, uh, Flamigo surely kills afterwards. So I'll just Terrain Boost and Psychic Fangs if I can get away with it. Brother, what are you doing? What are you? Did you think I was clicking Bullet Punch and Terrain? Like, what? what come on, what are you doing? I'm not stupid. Thanks for weakening yourself, though. I appreciate that a lot. You are appreciated. So, like, everything on my team resists Leaf Storm. Surely I don't lose, right, guys? Surely I don't lose to Leaf Storm Superior. Surely. I mean, it's gonna kill this. No, it doesn't! You're dead. Let's go. Wow, that's crazy. Mine, if they, if they were, uh, what's it called? Miracle Seed? They definitely would have. But they are not. Therefore, they did not kill me. Unfortunately, this does mean that they get two boosts. Because I, I still can't click Bullet Punch. A part of me thinks maybe I switch out. Hold on. I gotta I gotta run a calc. Superior, not Miracle Seed boosted. Superior at plus four. How much do you do? We're just gonna dodge here, I, I decided. Uh, you kill Flamigo. And you don't kill Hydreigon. Alright, we found out what we gotta do. Psychic Fangs. Damn. I was hoping I, I, I could dodge. Them going for that is insane. If they didn't have, like, another move. But anyways, Hydreigon should guarantee live since they're not a uh, Miracle Seed. In the off chance that they Terra into something, like Stellar, then we just lose. But, you know, that's... That is another time. That is for another time. Uh, yeah. Flamigo is not guaranteed faster. Man, more and more reasons why I feel like I should run Scarf. But Bandit does so much damage. Like, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it already, but Bandit, Oko's Blood Moon, guaranteed. I can't pass on that. I simply cannot. Anyways, we're going to Dark Pulse here. If they're Terra Stellar, they're Terra Stellar. You know? It is what it is. They taunt. Fine. Perfect. Great for me. Good for this family. Good for all of us. You're dead. Amazing. And then it just comes down to Indeeders. <gasps> Indeeders! This is not the offensive one. It is indeed male a whole separate ass? Oh, it is. Okay. But it's for some reason, it doesn't say it's male. It's just the guy. Uh, anyways, I'm giving you max. But I'm, I'm assuming this is Scarf. I think the terrain only lasted five turns. So if they de gleam this, I'm just going to tear steel. Tear steel is like I should just always tear steel. And they haven't teared yet. Right. But then even if. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. They don't tear it. Perfect. Okay. Or if they did, then they're not Scarf. And then we should be good here. Because, yeah, they, nat they naturally outpace Flamigo. Unfortunately, because Flamigo's got that abysmal 90 speed. If Bro was like 101 or 102 or just one, even just not 100, he would be so much better. Flinch for the one time. Deagleen, get him out of here, coach. <laughs> you, you can't tread on me, brother. I'm a Hydreigon. But yeah, once again, shout out to Flamigo for holding it down in the back. Uh, I don't know why I said I don't know why I said once again. Flamigo definitely did something in the first battle. Shout out Metagross, to be honest. 
Shout out, shout out non leaf. Wait, shout out non miracle seed boosted leaf storm. Because if that was miracle seed, we lost, lost. <laughs> like we lost lot okay this is a team we got gardevoir X is this mono gen 3 no it's not okay never mind Gallade, gardevoir swampert and mightyena made me believe it was like mono gen 3 uh this guy watches just weavile surely <laughs> because of the mightyena if you know you know um so not a whole lot of grass coverage outside of glimmy glim i could see like esper wing um bird leading off to try and counter glim or or there's two other psychic types that also counter glim i really like metagross here for a few obvious reasons i kind of want to lead off with mistrevis not gonna lie i feel like it could be just be really funny so i might just do it um but then again like i know the glamora lead is very telegraphed but it's also not bad uh but instead i'm actually gonna lead off with ambipom and then we're bringing you because you have a really good speed tier here. Uh, you, you outpace everything. So I just need something to deal with the Gardevoirs of the world. So I'm going to go with Metagross. It's also good against uh, the bird. So yeah, it's just bad against Mightyena and I guess Swampert kind of. But I feel like if they bring Swampert, it's going to be a lead pert. It is what it is. But yeah, let's go Ambipom. That should be fun. That should be fun. Faking something out immediately. Uh, if they intimidate me with Mightyena... So be it, I guess. I don't know. I'll probably just go hard for me, to be honest. Okay, they got into this. Perfect. This is what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. In front of Galad. In front of Galad. So yeah, we're faking out. And we're going to do a lot of damage. Oh, they withdraw. Who is... Who? Why would you... You had such a favorable matchup. Who are you going out into? They brought the guy. Okay. Big fake out. Are they going to drop a Draco? I really don't want them to. I'm going to go out into Metagross and see what happens. If they go for Shelter, then... Welp. We probably lose because we have three physical attackers. But if they don't? If they're AV, then we're good. We just click Earthquake. So lead Glade. So it probably was Sash. That's probably why they switched, actually. Flash Cannon. Perfect. Amazing. Leads me to believe that they're AV. Don't show me lefties. Thank you for not showing me lefties. Click an earthquake. Terra flying if you want to. Not concerned. They stay in. We're going to get some good chip off the old block. And by chip, I mean damn near all of it. As they counter. Okay. Okay. Good set. Uh, Really? That was cool. Alright. I'm going into Flamigo and I'm going to hope you turn kills. <laughs> that was really cool. If this is a uh, cuss that berry, then even cooler. Holy shit. Uh, Gudra, Hisui. I'm going to assume Assault Vest still. Still assuming Assault Vest. U-turn should kill every time. I'm not even going to finish calcing that. I'm just going to click U-turn. If they're cuss that, you deserve this KO. Go for it. I want to see it. Okay, they're not. Big U-turn. All right, and then we get our Ambry Palm in once again to be able to fake out anything that wants to come in. Including, but not limited to, Galad. And then, hopefully, Flamigo can clutch up. That's what I'm hoping for. Bang, Ambipom. And even if we don't, I might have to tear a Ghost Ambipom. Just, just for the, uh, the, the Galade, potentially. Because they should totally try to... Well, they can't... They don't lock into Sacred Sword if they're Scarf. Okay, they did this. Alright, perfect. If this is Rocky Helmet, whatever, I don't care. Now, if it's Covert Cloak, that's really cool. Let's find out together. Are you Cloak? You are not. Perfect. I don't think you die to, um, what's it called? So I might, I might, let's see, that did way more than that much. So yeah, you definitely don't die to double edge. I'm going hard Flamigo. Because they could click Earthquake, they could click Flip Turn. What I don't want them to click is Yawn, but I guess if they do, that's fine. Because then I still just... I think a fake out into double edge. Yeah, they flip turn. That's okay. Unless it's Scarf Glade. It would have to be Scarf Glade for it to be an issue. Um, If it is Psycho, Scarf Psycho Cut, probably just wins. So we'll see what it is. I am going to uh, click Brave Bird. 
assuming it's Sash. But, like, I don't have any way around it. Okay, so I think they're Scarf, the way they did this. The way they just terrestrialize like that, I'm leading Scarf. Oh, Terra Fire. Okay. I mean, you're definitely still dead if you're not Scarf. Maybe AV. That'd be great. Okay, not Scarf. Not Sash. Not Sash. Dead. Flamigo, baby. Let's go. I like him. I like him. I don't care what you said. I don't care what you heard. I remember like a year ago, maybe? Maybe like a year and a half ago. Back when the GBA first started. Not like 10 years ago, but like when I first joined like a year and a half ago. There was someone in the chat who was all like, draft Flamigo. And I didn't. And I should have. Because bro is cooking. But yeah, now we just Brave Bird. Um, they end up being... I think they die. Let's go. Bro, Flamigo just... Come on, man. What do you want to know about it? We're using Flamigo and Ambipom on this team. All right, guys? What more do you want from me? You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. But let's go. Like, we, we won against a Gallade Swampert. Well, I guess which... Those two aren't that niche, to be honest. It's the Mighty Yenna and the other guy that was kind of like, what are you doing? Dude, what the hell, man? What is it with so many people running Porygon 2 today? Like, this is like the third Porygon 2 I've ran it. The fourth. No, third. I just took that picture. All right, well, regardless, let's see what happens. Um, Cinderace is a pretty cool lead. Uh, not lead. I mean, just a pretty cool mon. Uh, I could see them leading off with either Scarf Goldango, Random Sneasler, or whatever they want on P2. Um, I think all things considered, if I've considered all things, um, Metagross isn't a bad lead. Unless they lead off with Chinderace, then it's a bit unfortunate. But I also don't have a better op option for that. I'm actually going to lead off with uh, my Monkey. I don't think I brought it yet, and I kind of just want to. So we're doing that. I don't have Knockoff, right? I opted for Shadow Claw. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. Um, then we got to bring Flamigo. And then... I don't really have much for the Cinderace. So Hydreigon it is. Let's go. Let's go. Does this team lose to Sneasler? Of course it does. Um, but Flamigo does tank any one hit. Barring a Dire Claw Sleep. And we knock it out with Brave Bird. So let's just see what happens, man. Let's see where the day takes us. I think we brought... Yeah, we got Hydreigon for the Dozo. Um, we can also Nasty Plot in front of the... Uh, what's it called as well? So let's see what happens. They do lead off with the Sneasler. Who's going to fake out first is the question. It'd be very funny if I tear it here. To, vo to avoid theirs. But I'm clicking. Let's go. I did first. Easy. That did so much damage. Holy shit. Do I think I'm faster? Is Adamant... I'm faster than Adamant Sneasler, right? No, I don't think so. Let's look, uh, let's look it up. I don't think I am. Uh, Ambipalm. Oh, I am. Wait a minute. I think they're adamant. I think they're adamant. Who's this? Are you going to go Dango? I knew I should have Shadow Claw. A part of me really wanted to, but I just didn't because I'm not brave. Oh, they're going to this. Okay. Bam! That did some damage. Okay. I feel like I saved this. <laughs> I'm going to go into Flamigo. And then you turn on the yawn. And I'm saving this. You saw that fake out kill Sneezer. Like, hello? That did so much. Silk Scarf boosted fake out is a hell of a drug. They are so scared. All right. Yeah, that's a guarantee to a KO unless they have HP investment. Anyways, they do yawn. Who would have thought? I'm actually going to not U turn. I'm going to hard switch Um. into Hydreigon. Because they should protect here. And then I get a sub up. And if they don't protect, then shit. Good play, I guess. Good play on spamming Yawn. We're revealing all of our three, but it's okay. As, as hoping they wave crash. Perfect. Amazing. Even better. Even better. Even better. Because now we just get a free sub up. Brother. You ain't gonna Yawn cycle me, Don Dozo. Don idiot, more like it. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Guys, I don't know what's going on lately. I'm at my wit's end. I'm clicking substitute. <gasps> so they brought lead Sneasler with Don Dozo. Surely that means they brought Dragonite in the back. I don't think that means they brought P2, but we'll find out right now. Because if they brought Dragonite, I tear a steel.
They brought Porygon too. Okay, we got a game. We've got a game. Do they get a Spatak raise? I don't think so. Yeah, I have four into Spat... Okay, and they copied my Levitate, which is pretty cool. So, oh, so it's Trace. Okay, perfect. Well then, Porygon 2. What does that mean for us? I think that means that Terror Blast... Doesn't break my sub if I... What's it called? I'm gonna Nasty Plot first to see what they do. And then if they if their move is the Terror Blast, I'm gonna Terror Steel. Same thing if their move is the Ice Beam. Because then I sub up again. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So yeah, I think Hydreigon should be able to 1v1 uh, the bulky mons at the back. And so long as I have a substitute up, the Sneezer can never, can never revenge. So I think Hydreigon's gonna clutch up here. Again, once again, not using Flamigo, but Flamigo potentially might win if uh, if this doesn't. So yeah, we Terra Steel and sub. Even if they switch, this is fine. Uh, Terra Steel subbing is just really smart. Um, Cause Thunderbolt actually could potentially break sub. I think it has a 0.5%. It has a 14% chance to break it, I think. Let's see. They go for Ice Beam. Perfect. Amazing. Amazing. From amazing. This Hydreigon is broken. Alright, plus four. Plus four it is. Um. At plus two, do I already two KO this? Not necessarily. I'll get the plus four. Because I feel like I can get away with it. Depending on what their Terra is. So yeah, let's get the plus four. Why not? They go for Discharge. Okay, that doesn't break. Ever. Because that's weaker than, than Thunderbolt. It's going to break this now because it's got the chip already. Yeah, literally Discharge never breaks. Even if they have like 12 investment. Or four. Four investment would 100% ever break. Alright, yeah, we sub up again. And then we two a carry with Dark Pulse. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hydreigon is doing what it needs to do. Like, this isn't stall. Like, their team. Like, But they do have really bulky Pokemon in Dondozo and What's-His-Face. And of course, OBS is doing the thing I keep complaining about. I don't know what's going on, man. It just keeps like... It just keeps like... So, if, if no one out there... If, if someone out there listening to this... Um, doesn't create content on the regular and record through OBS. Uh, this dies. Sneezer dies, if that's what's coming in. Uh, basically, it shows your screen that you're capturing, right? Like in a big square, and then there's a bunch of like stuff underneath that, like all your scenes, like your sound levels and whatnot. Um, it shows all of that, right? Uh, but for some reason, I just... Every once in a while, I'll just glance to the left, and all of a sudden, it's it's just showing the game footage, and everything else is like a solid color, and it's like gone, and it's like freaking me out. And I haven't rent, but went back to check any of the other battles to see if it like cuts off the video because it doesn't look like it's cutting off the video, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. You know what I mean? Uh, regardless, even if this guy wants to tear a fairy, like I don't see us losing this, so I'm just gonna dark pulse again. The worst case scenario is it's like it's terror blast fighting, but then even then. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was even then I two KO it, and then the, I I sub in front of Dondozo again anyway. So it is what it is. So yeah, man, that is that is gonna that's gonna be it. For, I'm gonna see if I can see what's going on with this OBS. I'm gonna look it up and see if anybody else is also having this struggle. Fellow content creators out there, is your OBS also being weird today on October twentieth, nine p.m. Anyways, that was fun. I liked using Flamigo. It did a lot of things in the first battle. I believe. Uh, there's a few battles you didn't see where it got the Yoko on Blood Moon or Saluna, which was the whole reason why we went Choice Ban. But yeah, man, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get about here. If y'all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.